So you know that I built this roof deck for the uh, prison bus um, a couple months ago now. And uh, what happened is I heard from a couple who live in a bus a lot like this one i don't know if it's a bluebird but anyway they live in a bus uh just down south of here and they want a roof deck too and they want one just like this one so uh today's a little bit different i'm gonna cruise down to their spot where they've got their bus and their setup and uh check out uh what they want exactly make some measurements and get to work uh before too long on fabricating them a roof deck It is super freaking hot, but I've got to get cutting on the steel. I've got it set up here in the shade outside. Um, I would cut it in the shop, but inside the shop we've got a big brooder full of baby chicks. And cutting steel and welding and stuff like that, it's just, it just seems a little noisy for baby chicks. Anyway, I've got to cut my pieces first, and then I can kind of do a rough assemble and start welding up the basic frame for the rack. All right, so these uh, bases are all set up. They'll just need uh, two holes for the rib nets to attach the bus, and of course I'll grind them and clean them up and make them beautiful and all that. They're not totally the same. You can see some go this way and some go that way. That's just because these are right side and these are left side. All right, then these are the seven foot cross pieces. This is just for the bottom of the rack, uh, like the base. All right, so this is how the base frame is laid out uh, before uh, cleaning it up, grinding it, and welding it. Just so you can see, and this is the orientation it will be on the bus. So up is up, down is down. And this is the back of the bus and we're looking up to the front. So you've got the angle iron here. This will be welded to the cross piece. Each one of these cross pieces is over a rib. And this first set of ribs on this bus are just farther apart. Um, then you've got a second rib, third rib, fourth rib is here and there's a slight extension on the rack just to bring it up exactly to eight feet. On a few of these, I've had to come in with a grinder and just flatten them down. Uh, that, that's because another piece of steel will be welded to it uh, in the future, but this one's all right. This is gonna be underneath the rack. And this is the hardened bolt setup. Uh, these guys are uh, long enough to go through this and the angle iron. So we've got the bolts all set up and I just need to drill these guys so that they're ready to go. All right, so I've got the uh, legs all kind of tuned up. They are cleaned, 
and ready to weld and they've also got that hole through them which will allow me to bolt the rack to the base plates and I'm just gonna weld them all in place. Uh, after these guys are welded we can go ahead and start putting in the top pieces. Uh, that'll be kind of like the uh, rail around the top of the rack. All right, let me just show you what's next. Um, I just have this uh, rough fitted in place. This is the top rail. And you can see that these corners here are mitered. Um, mitered uh, is nice just because it doesn't leave an open end for water to penetrate. You can always close up an open end with a cap, but I just like this better. Uh, obviously this still needs to be cleaned up before I weld it. Weld it grind off some of this uh, steel here on the end and sand it. Um, but then uh, the top frame will just about be done except for the uh, back piece on the end there. I'll also put in a couple supports here um, just to keep these guys from bending if uh, there's any weight on them. Uh, now the frame is mostly welded. Um, I just need to flip it over and get some of the uh, welds that would have been upside down uh, in this orientation. But uh, these two supports are pretty key. Uh, there's a couple long stretches on the front and the back. Oh, uh, the front, that's the front and the back. And these guys will uh, act as supports. Uh, here's just a look at the rack in this stage. Uh, it is all welded up. I ground down some of those big thick welds and it's ready for priming and painting. Uh, this would be the front of the bus up here, back of the bus back here, and obviously it will have wood decking eventually. So in terms of paint, if it's not totally clear, uh, after cleaning it up with acetone and sanding and everything, I did a, a coat of primer, top and bottom. Uh, now we're doing a coat of black, uh, high performance enamel. I think I'll do two coats of this, and then I'll clear coat it a couple times, and that should be good. I bet I do. The rack is loaded up and it's about a 20 minute ride down to their place. It's squeaking a little bit, but it seems solid enough.
Which way? My way? Yeah, your way. Okay. So I'm just up here installing the rack and there are a couple things I gotta show you that didn't make it to the video. Uh, one is that I constructed or sort of fashioned these feet. Um, this is just a piece of tubing that this uh, one inch stuff will slide inside of. It just gives it a little bit more flexibility to dial in the height just right. And the other is that I'm drilling holes here for my rib nuts and I think I'll be able to show you that process. those rib nuts uh, you can see the RTV kind of squirted out a little bit um, which is good you get a seal and they are just uh, ready to go when I move these brackets over we'll be able to bolt them down so I am uh, back at the basically nomad bus and I'm just making the connection between the base plates and the rack uh, with a simple weld there's gonna be eight of those and then the rack is in place and ready for the decking finish the Nomad deck tonight, but the next thing to do is just to lay that decking. So I'm going to stain the decking back in my place, get it all prepped, and then lay it down on their deck so that it's good and ready for them to enjoy. Man, this was going pretty good. The deck's just about done, but uh, we got tornado sirens going off. You can see there's a pretty good storm moving in, so I'm gonna take this back to the shop, uh, rip one more board, assuming I don't die in a tornado, and uh, come back probably tomorrow or the next day to put that last piece in. <laughs> All right, the uh, tornadoes have passed, and I'm back just a couple days later to uh, lay down the last couple boards. Uh, you can see there's kind of an irregular gap right here and I just ripped one to fit in that slot. so that wraps up this uh, cargo rack roof deck project I may still fabricate a ladder for these guys but we haven't quite sorted that out they might just use an extendo ladder we'll have to see anyway I'm pretty happy with the deck uh, thanks for checking out the project and I'll see you in the next build <laughs>